scattered showers and a couple of storms a little bit different from today and yesterday with our uh, somewhat warm and pretty summery kind of feel. But currently our temperature at 75 tomorrow we will expect some scattered rain. Heading into the work week, though, it turns warm and mainly dry, and that won't be the case as a big high pressure area builds in and just heats us up every day. Maybe not quite to 90, but probably pretty close by the end of the week. And then the only day for next weekend for Jazz Fest that we're watching, uh, it looks like Friday for some scattered rain. So hopefully locals Thursday would be OK and Saturday and Sunday looking fine right now. Things could change a little, but right now Friday looks like the day we might have some scattered showers and storms. And tomorrow temperatures right now in the 70s and no rain out there right now. But the severe thunderstorm watch boxes are out over extreme north Louisiana and southern Arkansas. A couple of storms developing out in parts of East Texas as well. That front is not going to charge in here and bring us any cool air. We're almost getting to the point in the season late spring and almost into summer. Of course, May first day is tomorrow where we see the fronts get close, but don't get that upper push all the way into our area. So that front will likely stay to the north of us tonight. Partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the 70 degree range for lows. And then tomorrow highs will be very close to today. Today was 85 where we topped out tomorrow. We'll say 85, 86, somewhere around there. So still feeling pretty hot when you factor in the sun and the humidity today when a cloud went over the sun. I was so happy and it felt so good. And then the sun would emerge again and it would start feeling a lot hotter tomorrow, though. There will be a chance for some scattered rain. And in fact, for your Jazz Fest forecast tomorrow, no the rain chance there, especially in the late afternoon and early evening. Perhaps I'll show you our high resolution model through tonight and into early tomorrow. This takes us to 7 AM. This is actually a different model from the one I showed you at the start of the newscast, and it's kind of showing the same thing. Any storms that we see, which are now going on with radar you saw out to the northwest, they will get near us, and these are just storms kind of generated and kind of flowing out into our area. Those should weaken as they move in. So this takes us to 11 AM start of Jazz Fest, and there might be a little rain, but maybe not right over the fairgrounds. That's your hope, of course, every Jazz Fest where there is a rain chance, maybe not right over uh, where the concerts are happening. But it does look like as we move through the day, 2 PM, and then we'll fast forward to about 5 PM. There's going to be some scattered rain around. So again, whether this placement is just a little bit farther to the north or farther to the south, I mean, this is just a model. It will not be exactly like this tomorrow, but notice that it actually does have some rain over the south shore and scattered on the north shore by about 7 PM. So right as Jazz Fest maybe is getting into its latest acts and then ending tomorrow evening, 10 PM does look a lot quieter. So for your checklist tomorrow, I was saying earlier, still need the sunscreen, sunglasses and sun hat. But I would also grab an umbrella and a rain poncho or a rain poncho, whatever works for you. Just throw it in your bag. Hopefully you don't have to use it, but it does look like a couple of those downpours will be out there, maybe even dumping a quick couple inches of rain, depending on you know where those set up. Also something cool for tomorrow morning. There's the Venus and Jupiter conjunction. If you look to the east southeast, you will see the planets lined up like this and Venus and Jupiter super close together. So early tomorrow morning, five to about 6 a.m. Sunrise is at about 615 tomorrow morning. Look east southeast. These are the two brightest planets, Venus and then Jupiter in the night sky. So they are both going to be together. It's going to look really beautiful. I think they are 430 million miles apart in reality, but uh, for what we see, they'll look right next to each other. So something kind of cool if you are up early tomorrow morning. Our seven day forecast is showing our warm up and drier weather from Monday through the end of the week. Not to rule out a, a stray shower one of those days, but it mostly looks dry. Next chance for rain looks like Friday with some scattered showers and storms around. A couple of players with New Orleans ties find homes on the final day of the NFL draft, plus the same.